Hey guys, so it's Monday. I had a bit of a late start because I was up so late last night. After I was done drawing, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to bed, but then I somehow ended up watching videos on YouTube of planners, like agendas, and like I just was watching so many videos and watching different reviews on these different fancy planners people get, and I'm just like, Oh my god, like I want to upgrade mine because mine's a student planner, which is annoying because it goes from June to July. I want one that's just 2015, so I don't know. I might just make do with what I have, but if I don't get a new one now that's a full calendar year, I'm going to get stuck in the summer needing a new one. I'm going to end up with another student one, so I don't know. I'm going to see, because I have to go return this color oops stuff. Where did I put it? Uh -oh. oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna return this because I used the one bottle and it didn't work. So I'm gonna return the second one. And um, while I'm at London Drugs, I'm just gonna see what they have in sort of their stationary slash like office supply aisle and see if they have any planners. I'm hoping they do, but I'm kind of worried they don't. And if they don't, I'm hoping they at least have stickers because I want to use stickers to color coordinate mine. Because what? And I also just want a bigger a bigger book because this is mine so the way mine works is you've got your weekly spreads and then there'll be a calendar page before that month so here's March's for example and this is my favorite page to sort of organize stuff on but it's so tiny like this book is just really small and I feel like I don't have enough room on here and in the videos I was watching, people were using stickers on the calendar page to color coordinate everything, and it looked so fun and just organized. And that's what I really want for my YouTube videos going forward is like, this is what I'm mainly gonna use it for is YouTube videos. And it might mention other little tasks I have to get done, but I want it to be kind of like a YouTube planner. And so, I don't know, I'm gonna see if there's something that starts in January, ends in December, and is bigger than this one. I'm not really getting my hopes up because it's just London Drugs, and there's not really anything around there like any other stores around there that would have that kind of stuff, would have to go somewhere else. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna walk there and see what they have. So anyway, I'm gonna go to London Drugs and get this stuff done. Okay, so the trip was a success. I was worried at first. I was looking forever and there were no planners and I'd almost given up. And then I found this section on a lower shelf that had them and I was like, yes! Because I found daily planners, but they're annoying because it's just like, it's the same page throughout the entire book and there's no calendar pages and it's broken down hourly and I don't really like that. But I found the monthly and weekly planners. Sorry, that was a little obnoxious. But I got this one. They had this identical interior design in a book that had a gray cover. And I was so torn, but I ended up going with this one just because, I don't know, I just like how it's overall brighter. But what was nice about the gray one is that the tabs, because the tabs were still pink, and so the pink popped against the gray, and it just looked kind of nice. But I was like, no, I just want it to be overall brighter, so I got the pink one, and it's so pretty! It's just very simplistic. It's got like cute border. Let's see one of the monthly pages here. Blech. June. Ah, uh, so pretty and exactly what I need. And they didn't have any kind of stickers. There's always post-it notes, but post-it notes are only sticky on like a small portion of them. They're not sticky across the entire back. And so I got this. It's Scotch Impressions Tape. And I figured I can cut it. It's not as convenient as a sticker, but I'm gonna try sticking it to wax paper and see if it's easy to peel off, because then I can cut them in advance stick them to a sheet of wax paper and then peel them off when I need them. And unfortunately, these are the only two colors they had. I mean, they're great colors and they look awesome with the pink. I just wish I could have gotten maybe three or four different colors instead of just two. But yeah, this way I can color coordinate. And this will be for my art videos, I think, because it's the teal. <laughs> um, see, I wanted one for the vlogs, then one for Patreon, then one for like planning out art prints. So I don't know how this is gonna work. I might just print off my own stickers like I was saying, but um, yeah. This is really cute. I might turn this into a pouch page or something because a lot of the planners I was looking at had a pouch on the back with the ones online. And I might do that and then I can put the sticker sheets in it. I was cutting these up with scissors and I'm like, what am I doing? Because there's like weird crooked cuts and they're all different and it was taking a long time. And I'm like, why don't I just stick it down? I made a cut. With the knife, ooh, 
and then I can make exact one inch. Actually, I kind of don't want them to be one inch though. I want them like one and a half inch, I think. Okay, I don't need that much blade. <laughs> mm, yeah, I think one and a half because I want them to fit the width of the calendar page, like a calendar square. So I think and then I just make a cut. Okay, I need two hands so I can hold the stinking mat. Okay, so my sticker sheets are made. This is the one that turned out looking the nicest. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And I could even stick some on the back, but I just, I wanted four sheets. And if I cut more, I would start putting them on the backs. But yeah, now I can start using these. Oh, and I also want to, like I said, make a little pouch in the back of the planner. So I cut up a clear page protector and then taped it down here. It comes about halfway up, a little bit more than halfway. And then I can just stick my stickers in here. And I, I made one on the other side as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here, but yeah one thing i don't like so much about the green tape is it looks a bit more yellow but that's fine it's it's kind of green it's like a neon green not really neon yellow green whatever anyway I i'm liking my customization so far okay so now i did a pen test on these pages just january just writing random stuff to see if it'll go through and you can see that the studler pens did go through the paper which i don't really like but when you color with a normal pen, which are these colors, you can see the indents through the paper of where the writing is, which is also not that great. But I think I might go with these ones just because they're better colors. These ones aren't quite the colors I want. Like there's, there's no kind of, like I don't want this dark blue. I could use this lighter one, but there's also no purple. I kind of want purple for Twitch streams. I gotta figure out how I wanna color code all this. Hmm. Okay, so here's a little setup of what I have in here. So I, I made some pink stickers by coloring with my Copic marker on a sticker sheet. I was considering just printing off solid pink, but I was like, eh, I'm too lazy to do that. I'm just gonna color it with my Copics. And this is actually pretty nice because it's a nicer surface to write on. These have a really slippery surface and I had a hard time finding a pen that would work like I tried using this sharpie pen and I used it for this one and it kind of worked but then it would just stop working like it was really annoying it would, would write like one letter and stop working I have to scribble on a piece of scrap paper try again for one letter so I kind of gave up on that and then I just started using a regular ballpoint pen and it this, I kind of struggled at first with it but then I realized I just have to press lightly and like kind of use the side of the ball and then it, it wrote really well so I started using that instead and um yeah so this is kind of like an example of what I do so the tape is when I would need to post something so if I want to up if I want videos to go live on Fridays I want them edited and uploaded on a Thursday and then scheduled to go live uh, around noon on Friday so I have all my art videos in this teal color and I've written what they are, so those, I don't know, it just has solemn dewdrops. I have no idea what I'm calling that picture. That's just what I thought. I don't know why that name came to mind, so I guess that's what it's called. Then there's gonna be an inking tutorial, a speed paint, but I don't know what I'm gonna do, so it's blank in the middle. I don't know what kind of speed paint, and then there's gonna be my, my workstation video. Then an extra video would be the bail mail, which is over here. There's not much for Patreon stickers, cause like, I'm not posting any Patreon stuff this month, I'm just, prepping it for next month so um it's not a whole lot there like i want to have all my rewards ready by the 24th i'm going to film my patreon announcement video on the 25th and then this is my deadline to have the website all set up like i'm going to work on it throughout the month but this is the deadline and then also going to upload the announcement video which will go live march 1st and then pink is online store so it's kind of like prints and things i want to get done i'm going to be reviewing a printing service and so I have a set amount of artwork I want to get done by the end of the month to submit to that printer and then I'm going to get more done after that but I feel like in order to do this review video I need to like get these done so I have like first print due which is the picture I'm working on right now um, then I got a couple sticker sheets I want to get done second print third print and then let's submit it all so so that is kind of how it is. And, I, and then I write stuff also, but I haven't written a whole lot because I don't want to plan too far ahead. I don't know what my day-to-day -day activities are going to be like. So I just wrote it in kind of for this following month. Like this is today, work on the picture. Tomorrow I'm going to edit the bail mail, 
got my live stream and then prep for my tutorial like you know it's kind of like little things like that just all related to my video planning and then I can write more about my day-to-day -day activities in here and maybe even things that aren't related to YouTube just like any chores I want to get done that day or just, you know whatever but I want to keep the calendar like specifically for my online stuff planning no things like oh get groceries this day no that could be written like elsewhere so that is my new planner and I'm all excited about it and I can write ideas on the side too little notes cool so around the time I started vlogging um, I was really into smoothies and I really want to get back into them so I'm making one right now and I just want to show this huge bag of frozen berries I've never done frozen berries before so I hope the blender can handle it um, I know most blenders can but anyways look at all those I just looked into it and I was like oh my god I just I want to vlog this I don't know why maybe it's because it looks so delicious berries are my favorite fruit and oh it looks so good looks like there's raspberries blackberries and blueberries Yes, that is it. So, this is gonna be good. So I have some spinach and kale along with the mixed berries and I'm gonna throw in a banana and some milk. Huh, those berries must have added a lot of pigment. Usually the smoothie is green and sometimes a greenish brown, but there's it doesn't look green at all. Oh well, I really don't care about the color as long as I have like my spinach and stuff in there. And I've actually never used kale before, so this will be interesting. That looks so good. And then I'm gonna give Christian my bit of extra that wouldn't fit in my cup. So I've been working away on my picture and I'm trying pickled eggs for the first time because Christian wanted to buy some and I was like sure because like, I love eggs especially hard-boiled eggs I mean I'm not like a huge egg fan but hard-boiled eggs okay anyway so pickled egg mmm that's interesting it's weird because I'm expecting just a normal hard-boiled egg taste so I'm like scared it's actually pretty good it kind of feels at first like I'm eating a rotten egg or something. <laughs> then I'm like, no, Bailey, that's the pickle. It's good. I had to take the battery off the charger for a minute to vlog this. So these are some sneak peek images from the new Frozen short, Frozen Fever. Look at their outfits. Anna's dress. Oh, the colors in the pattern. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then Elsa's is different too. I don't know if it's like more teal or if that's just this the lighting in this, but oh my god. Because in there here it looks more blue, but that could be a different dress. It's probably, that looks like her regular dress, and that looks like her fancy dress. <sighs> Olaf, of course. <laughs> just this picture right here, I'm like, <gasps> dying. So I'm done working on my picture, and I decided to download all my rewards for Sakimi Chan's Patreon because the rewards were just released today. And I sorted them all into folders. So I have a Sakimi Chan folder on the side. And when I click it, it brings me here. I've got brushes, finished art, PSD, step by step. There are pictures like JPEGs. Text files. The text files just, it's just a text file that has the link to all the downloads, even though I've already downloaded it. And then videos. So it's insane. Like, hey, there's a few brushes here. Here's all the artwork. This is for two terms. And it's bi-weekly term, so it's a, it's a month worth of months worth of stuff. All these PSDs. These are a few step-by-step -step pictures. The old folder is stuff that I've just downloaded from the Patreon page, but it wasn't included in the like rewards download. And then some of it was just simplified step-by-step -step stuff from previous reward terms that I never had access to the full version of it. But the ones outside the folder are the official ones. Yeah, text files, um, videos, all these videos. Some of them, I actually didn't check. I don't know, I don't think they all have voiceover because like they're long videos, but um, some of them are specifically tutorials. So I'm gonna just kind of click on a few and see what they're like. Yeah, the ones that aren't specifically tutorials, there's no voiceover because it wouldn't really work out because these are, these are real time videos. Look, look at this. This is real time working on it. That's insane. You can just like skip to a part you want to see how it was done. That is so cool, man. I feel like you get so much for your money. Like it's definitely worth it. I just don't know how many months I'm going to like continue with this. Because I feel like after I've done a few months, I'm going to have so many videos to go off of. Like I'll have enough to learn, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> like I feel like I can sort of see all her techniques after just a few months. So I might not do this forever because it's $20 a month, but
but you do get a lot. So if I just do for a few months, I think I'll have a good library to go off of and use those videos as like reference and stuff and like check out her techniques and learn stuff. So that is cool. And I'm excited to try some of the stuff. But I'm gonna go to bed because it's quarter after 11 and I work tomorrow. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, I've further sorted the videos. These are all the character process videos and then I put the tutorials in a separate folder. There's this many tutorials in one month. <laughs> That's so many there. Okay, there's how to, like her brush process video, eyes, face, female anatomy, hair, the hair, no, wait, never mind. Then there's hands. Hands is a voiceover tutorial. Then there's male anatomy. And then portraits. Portrait is a voiceover tutorial, and hands is voiceover. Holy, like, I feel like there's so much for me to go through. That's why I feel like I don't need to do this forever, like, maybe for a few months, and then I'll have enough videos to go off of for a while. I'm always like, eh, I don't really like my hair. And then once I have it all styled and stuff and, like, freshly done, I'm like, okay, I do like it. And it's not that I don't like dark, I just. Every time I see a picture that's similar to how I want to go towards the blonde, I'm just like, why can't I have that? But this, I mean, this does look really nice too.